I thought I'd bring you an honest update of the news this weekend. Every rich man and his dog was flown to Qatar by private jet in order to watch the World Cup. There was Ivanka's husband, Jared. There was Elon Musk. Uh, there was David Beckham, David Beckham's son, Djokovic. Everyone was there. Their carbon footprint was larger than a velociraptor with big feet. And meanwhile, the little people here in the UK aren't allowed to have Christmas lights in towns and cities because of uh, climate change. Greta Thunberg came out in support of the censorship of gay women, which just goes to show that being an asshole isn't limited to childhood. We then had Macron out at the World Cup as well, trying to teabag Mbappe live on the pitch. Face banging a footballer is kind of frowned on in the Arabic nations, and Mbappe made it clear that Macron was about as welcome as a dose of crabs and equally hard to get rid of. Piers Morgan was a prick and he tweeted that he thought the French team had been poisoned. I mean, it's not like Piers to make shit up like the front page of the mirror or, or anything like that. And then finally, the British people are supposed to believe that Hamza won strictly because he's going to be the new David Attenborough. And frankly, all of that is about as credible as Meghan Markle in a Netflix documentary. And that, my friends, sends us headlong into another week of madness.